Welcome back to another Gumaris Island homestead vlog. In this video, I'm going to basically walk the whole property line and it's uh, it's quite a job. So stay tuned. And uh, I've even got some illustrations in there exactly where I'm at when I'm talking about, you know, the different locations on the property. And I did something that I never had done since I bought the property. I got to see something up close that I'd never seen before. And I was really proud of it. So, so stay tuned about three quarters of the way through the video and you'll see that. It's, it's a good moment for me. I hope you'll enjoy it. I'm going to attempt to walk my property line. There's a big drop off in the back, so that's going to be the biggest challenge. I just love the palm trees, coconut trees, coconut palms, whatever you want to call them. nest up in this tree up in these mahogany trees i can't see it but i can hear it. i've heard him before or her we're coming to a corner of the property this property is shaped like a small child would build a house or draw a house on a piece of paper there's the marker and the property goes off this way. I'm not sure they've got it, if this is correct or not, but I know down by the, there's a coconut tree that I can go down to that I know that's the point of the house. This was all cut down this way. It's gonna start to get pretty treacherous Yeah, I'm not walking down there, but you can see the coconut tree. Well, I'll walk down there another way. This is kind of the back side of the property. It slopes down and has a ravine in it. I think I see my path. There's a huge mango tree that I've got that I show a lot of times. And this land slopes down this way. I think I can walk along that ravine and get down to the bottom. This is definitely the right path down. You can see fairly steep. And I'll have to come back the whole way uphill. You know what they say, what goes down must come up or something like that. Wow, I'm almost to the coconut tree. What we're looking for is a marker. 
down here at the bottom. There's the beloved coconut tree. That's the point of the property. Look at these banana trees trying to come up down here. I think the, the line goes this way all the way back up. Ah, my own nice big coconut tree. Oh, there's one there too. I didn't even know. I don't know how many people are killed per year from coconut trees, but I don't plan to be one of them. You can see several of them have fallen. That thing's loaded. I tell you what, this is more than I ever thought I'd have. That's amazing. Just amazing that I have a coconut tree. Wow. Let alone all the mango trees. I found it. That's what they call a mahon or the property line. So, there's the Mahon, and there's the coconut tree. You got to come down to the flat part. See my foot there? <laughs> Pretty happy about that. That's way in front of the, probably 20 feet in front of the coconut tree. So okay, I found my property marker. I found my coconut tree and I'm going to make my trek back up the hill a little bit different than what I did first time. I'm going to try to go this way and go up and I'll show you the other corner. So this is about splits the property right in half right here all the way back up to the road. So we'll see. Alright, I had to come up the same way I went down because the brush is not cut over there and not only is it rough going a lot of mosquitoes hide in those bushes gives them a refuge and a shade during the day so I'm going to take us back up to the other marker oh I'm just about to the top I can feel the breezes coming back across the property. It's kind of shielded from the breeze down below. But this is a welcome, a welcome gift, the breeze. Okay, so there's the corner. You can see the fence comes down this way and it cuts straight on that way and back up that way. So, this Jumalina tree is the corner. If I walk out here, maybe. Well, I don't see the, co oh, the coconut tree. Well, you can kind of see it through there. It's straight that way. I'm not walking down there again. <laughs> That's the first time I've actually walked down there. And before, the first time we, when we looked at it, it was all covered in brush and mosquitoes and it was a mess. And it's still a tough, still a tough climb and you better have a walking stick so anyway i'm grateful puffing and puffing a little bit but i'm grateful how could you not be grateful it's amazing you know i got a little bit down yesterday i stayed at the house and i don't know just sometimes you just 
and an old boss about 40 years ago. And maybe if you're in a bad mood, he said, he'd say, oh, you got the mully grubs? <laughs> what the heck? That's the first time I'd ever heard that. Maybe that's a little touch of the mully grubs I had yesterday, but getting out here, it's just gratitude. From mully grubs to gratitude for me. <laughs>